Huizen used to be a social experiment. Back in the 19th century it was started as a, a very isolated place where people from the big cities in the, in the Netherlands came who were out of work, who were uh, living on the streets, to, uh, to get them back into the society. And they, they were trained here. But it failed. And after that it was turned into a penitentiary institution. And that evolved uh, into what it is today. One of the people who are involved in the redevelopment of this little village is also uh, a very enthusiastic small brewer in his own home. And he put one and one together and made three out of it. And he got people uh, enthusiastic in the government uh, to, to fund it because it's government property. And he got uh, 24 other people uh, interested to put money in uh, and, uh, and run a small brewery where initially it was thought we were just brewing our own beers and share it with others, but it's gone completely out of hand. Uh, I used to be just a beer drinker and I love beer, uh, but I didn't know anything about how beers being produced and I was um, asked for uh, by a friend of mine to look whether I could join a small group of people who are uh, who wanted to brew their own beers that was back in 2007 I thought, well why not I love beer and if you can brew your own beer so that's that's a boy's dream so I'd like to be involved so that's what I did we want to brew the best beers possible so you need a few things for that. Of course you need to have the, be the best ingredients, you need to have the best brewer, because it's that, that's the most important part. And you need to have the best brewing installation possible for your type of beers. Malus is the name of the area around here. And uh, the old grain mill, uh, where the grain used to be milled, was called Malust. And that's where we have our production facilities in. The nice thing is that we have a small group uh, inside our brewery who are always tasting and, and trying and, and, and looking at, well, what could be a next beer. And in the end we just decide, based on our own taste, whether we are going to market a new beer or not. Very basic. Very, very basic. The volume um, will be limited. Because if you look at what we want to do, is one of the basic things is we want to stay here. In this environment, we want to brew all our beers here, nowhere else, just here. That are our boundaries. And the boundaries from here say, well, we are expanding right now, we're going to do a little more expansion next year. And that's it. Because then we're filled. We are very proud to be part of this venture, because it's great. We, we, we win all kinds of prizes just because we make good beer. Everybody wants that. It's just great. It's a boy's dream. Still here.